Hey everyone, welcome back to the Free American Empire. Fascist USA. Let's play Hearts of Iron 4. And here we go again. Alright, get out of the edit mode. <sighs> Oh, I know why. There we go. I end up getting into the edit mode every time I try to... Let's get this rolling. Every time I try to start... What the hell is... A British fleet doing in my lake? Okay, Bradley, we'll pull you back to Texas. Although, let's make it Texas with a port. Patton. Make a front line against Guatemala. Try this again. George. Get to work. Thank you. I did start war goals against Panama. And... Mr. Stillwell is put in charge of some Marines. I'm just going to use the Marines to knock out Panama. There shouldn't be any problem. I'm hoping. Then we want to go after Guatemala and Colombia. And of course, Honduras, Nicaragua, Costa Rica. We will control all of the Americas. It's a little bit difficult to go after some of this British stuff, but... They got a rocket site? Really? They got 14 divisions? Really? They're busy. I'll give them that. How's our training going? And our construction. We're still building radar stations. Okay, let's build some more military factories. And of course, naval yards. Our artillery upgrade. Nineteen forty two, so All right, let's back up again. Construction, let's see what electronics. Engineering, I'm sorry. It's forty two. It's forty two. Wow. Two hundred and fifty two days. Was that ahead of schedule? Yes it is. We'll wait. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Get that research time down. How is, what's going on in Europe? East Germany's kicking the ass. That the German, that Hitler wishes he could have. The Soviet Union. Italy's still in the war. That's insane. And we got construction. What was it? Four or five? It's four. We need the resources. We're low on steel.
Mr. Stillwell. Your orders are simple. You will conquer Panama. I have faith in you. Belgium has capitulated. This is going to be fascism versus communism. But <laughs> it's not going to be Germany versus Russia. It's going to be fascist USA against the USSR. That's what you call interesting. Sub warfare. Oh, let's go after... No. Oh, it's only 129 days, though. Let's do it. Do I want to do it? Actually, I don't. I want... That's also ahead of schedule. I'm going to wait. That's 117 days. 128 days. United Kingdom is going to mess around in the Balkans. It is 42. Let's go for the big guns. Just to make our situation a little bit more awkward. We're already having construction issues, which is strange for the U.S., since we are a powerhouse. I think maybe we need some more civilian factories. Just to balance things out. Strange for the U.S. to have construction is, I mean, production issues, but I was concerned about what would happen. So I played probably too cautious and too conservative. I should have been more aggressive. But there's also the limitations of the Great Depression, so I guess it's all good. And we have him training because his Marines weren't that good. He had a lot of green Marines. As soon as we declare, just go. We only have 119K available. We got low manpower. I know that. Mm. El Salvador is a little powerhouse with 26 divisions. Probably won't get the chance to stab them in the back. I mean, I could, but since they are probably the most powerful military in Central America. Why waste 120 days to declare war just to end up in a situation where it's going to be a knockdown drag out because they have next to no territory. Patton's getting in place. keep on forgetting his name. Bradley. Bradley's getting in place. How many more days till we can declare on Panama? Ninety. 90 more days. Let's go ahead and click it up a speed. Destroyer Flotilla 4. Is 
because they're old destroyers I'm not going to do that and I still can't get them to Hawaii even with all of these ports access to all of those ports I want to get myself into South America and start fighting all these ugly guys. That's why I skipped down to Panama. That way I can go up to Guatemala and Colombia, work my way towards Brazil. Once I take Brazil, I'll have an option of almost every country, with a few exceptions, Chile. And these guys, unless I want to go to war, end up in the big war. But I don't want to end up in the big war until I have controlled the Americas. I might end up in the big war before I can accomplish that. Because the minute I declare against Canada, I'm going to end up in the war. Colombia is going to be a tough nut to crack. You have all those mountains. Bradley's going to do that. That's why I put Patton on this border. Make sure I got that right. Patton's got three, four, five Mountaineer divisions. Maybe I did that wrong. Bradley has four. Bradley's got all infantry. not making I'm not let's make some more mountaineers make five Hungary declared war on Romania I haven't started making MPs yet because we're not in the big war. We don't need them. Every time we conquer one of these countries, we get the uh, the peace treaty, the peace conference, and then we don't have to deal with partisans. We don't have to deal with any resistance. We have plenty of infantry units. So I'm not worried about that. Bradley doesn't need... Didn't all of his troops get those orders? Guess not. Greece has capitulated. this? Oh, Griswold. Okay. Go ahead, train. Get your Marines up. They're not regulars. I want them to have regulars. Get that 25% bonus. experience. I'm wondering if I should fear by not, if I should be worried about not going to war with the USSR now, not helping out in Europe. Allowing Russia to get become too strong. They're not going to be able to conquer the United Kingdom because they don't have the Navy. As long as the United Kingdom is still building ships, Russia will never be able to compete. We, got focus, we have a focus available. Yeah, we got the issue war bonds. 
and be at war with, with the big country, but we can still improve our industry. We don't really need that yet, though. Combined bomber offensive. Since I'm gonna not gonna concentrate on strategic, I'm gonna go air support because then I can go tactical down here. Clear, close air support, production costs lowered, tactical bomber production costs lowered. Yes, we'll go there. We can go there now. Well, we're gaining over one a day now because the effects of the Great Depression are over. So, we're going to go Navy. No, let's stick with our military high command. Yes, definitely. Infantry expert. Logistics is nice. But we have a should be able to do both. We should be able to do both before we start our war. And you guys, I don't want to send you all to Bradley. That's military police. So we'll create a new army. Send you to Tallahassee. Oh, I'm sorry. That's Pensacola. I'm sorry. How close are we to now? 30 days out. He has permission to go. Still 42. Ah. Well, we need to upgrade our tanks big time. Chappies first. Improve our artillery. Right there. Iraq joined the Allies. Soviet Union declared war on Iraq. Well, that's rude. I'm sure the Iraqis weren't expecting that. They were expecting me to come over and do something. I definitely want to build a lot of half tracks. The reason why I haven't put out any motorized infantry yet is because I want to make it mechanized. We're even in a worse spot with steel now. We need to find more steel. Forty-two are new carbines. It is a must to improve the bang of our infantry for the buck. What the hell happened? Our manpower jumped right through the damn roof. Was it the war bonds? No, it wasn't war bonds. We were at only 119,000 and we jumped up. I don't know how that happened, guys. No clue whatsoever. Real question is, are we going to declare against Colombia next or Guatemala? It's 125 day stuff. It's killing me. 
Should be very close. 11 days out. I'd like to knock out Panama before the end of this episode. So I can feel like I accomplished something. Got mobile defense. Let's go next land doctrine. Diversified support recovery rate. This is an either or. Soft attack plus 10. Soft attack 25%. Do I want to suffer the recovery rate? I want the bigger soft attack, because you get two bonuses on soft attack. We're done. We can declare war on Panama. Stillwell is ready to go. Go, Joseph. I think it was Joseph. Panama is going after a nuclear bird. Did that happen? I just do not understand what happened here. I got two percent. I got forced into an alliance with Italy. This is weird. we're going to puppet them. I have no idea where they're at or how that's going to work, but whatever. The Free Panama Commune. My war with Canada. No, I'm not. Who am I at war with? I'm at war with no one. That was weird. I don't know. Oh, I can guess what happened. Somebody had declared war against Panama. And they turned around. Had given me the shaft. I just lost four months. Of effort. Hmm. 
Let's try this again. Patton, your orders are simple. Wrong one. Take Panama. Ah, uh, Guatemala. And go. Once I declare war, that is. No, I don't want to do that yet. And the reason why is I'm still behind on airplanes. Unfulfilled import requests. By who? The Dutch East Indies. That's rubber. Yes. I guess the Japanese have taken that. Yes, they have. So I'll trade with Japan. That'll be weird. Let's go ahead and trade first. I need 54 steel. Damn. I hate trading at main factories, but... Going to Bradley, Fall of Gibraltar. Why in the hell is it? Because Bradley still shows this. And he keeps on bringing his troops back there. Go. All right, George. There. Yeah, there should be no border issues with them. They're a puppet. put me in a weird situation if I go to war with Panama it'll put me on the side of the Allies and I've been trying to avoid that well we got our excavation it's 42 only thing that we got left that we're behind on is constraint concentrated industry but we are almost out of time so we'll go ahead and end this here let me just go ahead and cancel his orders first don't know what to tell you dog I don't know what happened I don't know how that happened Anyways, thanks a lot, guys. I hope you enjoy this video. If you can figure out what happened, please tell me down below. Please. I That was just so weird. I don't know how in the hell it happened, but somehow or another, I declared on Panama and lost Panama all at the same time. Anyways, I do appreciate it. Leave, leave your comments down below. The good, the bad, the ugly, all are appreciated. And right about now, popping up should be a video that YouTube thinks that you will enjoy. So, enjoy it. Until I see y'all next time, Bye bye